Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and shoe guy and this is the number six review of group one dry snuff. All right. Uh, nasal snuff. This this is the first grouping of it and this is the fifth review. Or you know what? I'm sorry. This is the number six review. The number five review was the failed Viking Blonde. This is the number six review and it is of Wilson's of Sharrow Grove. Originally, before a few tobacco laws came into effect in the United Kingdom, this was named Lemon Grove. All right, so taking a quick look at the packaging, this is a five gram tin. All right. Wilson's of Sharrow is a rather old company, so you are seeing that right. It was established in 1737. The product is made in England. The tin is rather small. Originally, there would have been a rubbery green band that came the, the top of the can and the bottom of the can meet at this line right above that bump there, if you can see the bump, all right? So it's a small can uh, for purposes of giving you an idea. Okay, five grams. Now, these cans you gotta be careful with. I slap them on a flat surface and then shake them back and forth to level the product. There is a little bit of suction on the cap that sort of keeps the cap on, but I would not be traveling around with this in my pocket, okay? It's not like the tap box. It just lifts off, as I will show you. And they come very full. So you're seeing product right there. You're seeing that right. So I'm going to try to get you a shot without spilling any of this all over the place. It is a light brown. All right. Got a orangey red tinge to it. Using the snuff spoon, let me see if I can. It is medium moisture and a medium grind. All right, so yeah, see, I'm, I'm losing a little bit of it. I am going to take the snuff spoon and just put out two small. I don't want to do too much of this because it is a little coarse in the nose. I don't want to start sneezing. Although I think I can do a little more than that. Okay. So right on the hand, the anatomical snuff box right there, which is the part, soft part of your hand between the bone of your forefinger and thumb that is the actual name of it it is called the anatomical snuff box okay so notice i am not sucking hard okay we are not doing illegal narcotics that just hit me hold on for a second eyes are watering but I think I should be okay. I hope I'm okay because I don't have this thing set up to hit pause if I start sneezing. If you do start sneezing, but don't want to lose the product, or really you have enough product, you, you can stand to lose some. Five grams is, for casual use, is going to last you a while. Um, 
but if you don't want to lose the effect of the product, if you start sneezing, sneeze away from an open can. Do not sneeze towards an open can or you may lose the whole can, but sneeze at your mouth, okay? And that way you will not lose the effect because if you do lose the effect, then you're going to have to blow out the product that you have left over and then repeat the process, possibly sneezing again. So to avoid all that, sneeze out the mouth away from the can, if the can is still open. So the growth, okay. Obviously, if its name was Lemon Grove originally, it is a very airy lemon scent, okay? Somewhat reminds you of like a, if anybody's familiar with the Windex all-purpose cleaner, the lemon scented or the Lysol product. Uh, it does remind you of a lemon cleaner type scent. It's comfortable enough, I can't take really large pinches of this, or bumps if you wanna call it, uh, because it will make me sneeze. It is a medium grind. It is a slightly drier product. It's listed as medium moisture on the website, but I find it to be a little bit light, uh, drier. So drier products usually, when you inhale through your nose, they can act coarser or more coarse rather than they actually are, making you sneeze. Um, all in all, it, it's pleasant enough. I mean, I don't, I don't have any problem with it, but it is not on my top five list, let me put it that way. It's pleasant enough in passing every once in a while. But really, I, I gotta admit, dry snuff, nasal snuff, all of my use is in passing. This is not something I do all day long, every day. I have, since I've gotten this product in and we're gonna do reviews, I have started making a point of using it daily, uh, usually in the evening, but it's when I'm usually at my desk here. Uh, it's just, I, I sneeze enough that this is not something I could really get away with out and about in public. I, people do, I mean, it's possible. Um, Something like a tap box would be the better option for traveling about. But even then, I mean, even if I don't sneeze, pretty sure in between taking it and taking it the next time, I will have to blow my nose. So now, am I traveling around with a hanky? Am I carrying a box of tissue? My preferred... is a box of tissues, largest ones you can find, like the widest, like the wide boxes. Uh, that That's what I prefer using. Hankies are fine, but I blow my nose to an extent that I'm gonna goof up a handkerchief pretty darn quick. That's the real, that's the real reason I have for not going the uh, snuff hanky route. And if you hold on for a second here. through the mouth. All right. Um, I don't know where that came from. Usually, if you are going to sneeze, it's going to be almost immediately after you take the product. For whatever reason, that, that came a little late there. Um, so, although it is claimed to be medium moisture, I, I, I think it's closer to low moisture, uh, which means it's going to be lighter. All right. So you're not going to have to do a big suck in to get it. Uh, I really, when I did that, I didn't really alter my breathing too much there. I just basically put my nose over it and, you know, I guess I breathed in a little bit more, but it wasn't like, you know, anything like that. Um, all in all, 
I mean, it's it, it does remind you of a lemon cleaning product scent wise, um, but it's not unpleasant. I mean, it's not you know, it's not terrible. Um, not for beginners, I'd say. Okay, so if you're if you're thinking about trying this out and you're looking for product, this is probably not it. Um, it is very inexpensive. That is a good selling point. The five gram tin is only a dollar forty four, but you're having it shipped in from England, so you have to pay shipping and handling. So you got to buy a bunch of this stuff at one time, okay? Because you're paying ten dollars shipping and handling. All right, a uh, dollar forty four. You know that's cheap enough for the one thing, but you know you wouldn't just order this, okay? I mean this is not worth. 1144 I know that uh, and it doesn't matter it, it, it's ten dollar shipping and handling no matter what the website for that is mr. snuff dot com okay I am in no way affiliated or trying to be affiliated with the site it's just basically the only game in town uh, Wilson and Sharo and I do not know the actual site name does have their own site, but I am unfamiliar with whatever shipping they're offering, but I believe they do have a store on it. So that is Wilson's of Sharrow. Anyway, um, all in all, it's a pleasant enough snuff. It's good for something different. Uh, I do want to mention, though, it is not mentholated, okay? It's not a menthol snuff. I believe they may have a mentholated version of the lemon, not sure about that offhand. It is not in this first group. So, um, all in all, I, I mean, people that are familiar with doing this, you may want to give it a try next time you put an order in. But people that are new, I, I, I would stick away from anything that, one, is not mentholated, and two, has a low moisture level. That said... It's a quality product and quality packaging. It's just, I, I, I don't see it as a product that somebody that's new to this should try. Not, not, not yet, anyway. Okay, so this has been the review of Wilson's of Shara Grove, formerly Lemon Grove, a non mentholated nasal snuff from England. I am the Sudentai Dip and Chew Guy. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.